discuss further on budget constraint and talk about the two key elements that affect the budget constraint or the budget line so you can tell it yourself just see the equation the equation is p1 x1 plus p2 x2 is equal to m now understand what is not under your control one is the prices and one is the income so the income depends on where you're working corporate what salary they're paying you and the prices are again affected by the forces of the market market demand market supply so prices and income can change the budget line so supposedly let's take an example and let's the let's take the case that your income increases from m1 to m2 so what happens to the budget line so initially for my given income m1 my indices were m1 by p1 and m1 by p2 now my income has increased so for example my income was 1000 and price was 10 and income was 1000 and price was 5 so this was coming up to be 200 and this was coming up to be 100 now see my income has increased to m2 and say m2 is 2000 so what will be this this will be m2 by p1 so this would be 2000 by 10 so this will be 200 and what will be this this would be 2000 by 5 so this will be 400 so the budget line will shift outwards so there will be a shift of the budget line now what happens if there is a change in price so for example the price of good one decreases from 10 to 5 and price of good two remains unchanged so let's take this case so initially it was m1 by p1 and m1 by p2 and this was the budget line so now what has happened is p1 has decreased so this will come here m1 by p1 dash and the budget line will rotate or there would be a pivot shift so this is known as pivotal shift so let's take an example so initially this was 1000 by 5 which is 200 and this was 1000 by 10 which is 100 and now the price has fallen to 5 so this is 1000 by 5 which is again 200 so understand that if you spend your entire income on good to then the consumption is unchanged but if you spend your entire income on good one then the consumption of good one will increase okay so try different cases for example what happens if both price and income doubles okay now uh, the next thing that i want to tell you is what i what do we mean by rationing so you would have heard this word under in your home also that this year we'll have to do certain rationing because we are lo- we are out of the resources or you would have heard it in a country's budget also whenever the budget comes out that this year we'll have to ration on the amount of water that the country uses because the water is not available for everybody's use or there are ration cards which are available so what is rationing so rationing says the following so it says that look this is my budget line that i have this is the available budget line that i have and this is 
the intercept m by p1 and this is the intercept m by p2 all right so what rationing is going to do is going to say that look suppose this was coming out to be 200 and this was coming out to be 100 so there can be two cases that can happen so case one says that look the amount of good one that is available in the country is only 50 so if you only have 50 units available in the country so you cannot anyways consume more than 50 because this is the maximum that is available in the country so let's let's draw a line from 50 so now the new budget line is this this part and this part this is case one whereas case two says that the maximum amount of good one that is available in the country is 150 then 150 is more than what you can afford i can afford maximum 100 units from my income of 1000 so the maximum units available in the country is 150 so the budget line remains this okay so what i'm trying to say is the following if the amount available is less than m by p1 which in our case m by p1 is coming out to be 100 so if the amount available of good one is less than m by p1 then you will have to do rationing so this this is acting as a constraint so if the amount available is 50 or 60 or 70 then i cannot consume 100 units at any cost so then i'm doing a rationing and it's constrained rationing but if the amount available is more than 100 and 100 is the maximum that i can consume then in that case it is unconstrained rationing so in that case i'm okay because if the amount available is 150 the maximum i can consume is only 100 so i'm okay with it okay all right